Uh, welcome to All Trails. Today we're going to show you our trailer design. You know, we looked online um, at a lot of different designs, um, but most of them had you um, stacking the bikes up like this. And with e-bikes, they're very heavy and I'm very lazy. Um, so we didn't want to do that. So we created a whole new system and you're going to see it right now. All right. So what we did here is we have a series of uh, joists with two by fours. Um, we started with the uh, fast track, but we're going um, to exclusively to the E track now. It's a little, it's a little more durable. Um, and as you can see, all we do is roll these bikes in, and I'm going to show you how that works. Um, once you've got all these three bikes out, you'll pick this up. And you'll put it on that rack right there and you'll do the same there and you get back to the to the third rack and the nice thing about this is um if you have to use the trailer for something else you can take all this out and it's clean so let's uh let's stop now and i'm going to take some of these bikes out and we're going to show you how it exactly exactly Action. all right i've taken a couple bikes out here so you can see this a little better um what i've got is i got the power packs um strapped to the board and then we've got three rows of these um, plugins. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to unplug it. Now, if this bike was coming in, then I would just plug it in. And at the end, I just plug this in and it charges all the bikes at once. So you can see there's nothing else holding this bike up, but it travels. So all we do is lift it off the hook and we bring it down here. Action. Okay. So what I like to do is I'll wrap these in here um, to keep them out of the way. And then when we're ready to go, we're ready to take this bar out and get to the next row of bikes, which actually you can actually roll these under if you wanted to. It's a little bit wonky. Um, but you want to do is you just unplug these here. So they stay in the same place. And I just put them up here to keep them out of the way. Just like that. Um, this one's gonna go into here. So what we've done is we've gotten two by four joists that actually snap onto E-Track. Um, and this is also an E-Track accessory. So um, the nice thing about this is we have each row on its own charging system. So let's say you didn't touch uh, this row or this row, you only rented out three or four bikes that day. Um, you can easily just turn this off um, so you're not charging, let's say that row of bikes, turn this one on because this is the bikes you used. Um, so you can charge individually um, based on the row. Uh, you can charge all the way down to the bike if you want to just take these off. Um, so the nice thing about this is you don't have to take these batteries out. You're actually hooking them up uh, to the charger as they come into you. Um, and once you're home, you just plug into the wall socket and you're good to go. So now the rental's finished. Um, I'm not having to pick the bike up. I'm not having to put multiple straps on it. Um, we just gotta avoid the cords, which is fairly simple. And I'm in. So there you go, guys. Uh, we've got a simple trailer for loading and securing uh, e-bikes or regular bikes. Um, this whole setup cost us a couple hundred dollars. Um, the nice thing is too, uh, you wanna take all these out. It's just three bars and you have a clean trailer. Um, I've looked around. I, I think this is a really good system. I know there's some good systems out there. Uh, feel free to copycat it, uh, use it, and good luck. Uh, thanks for visiting All Trails.